What's up guys, Scott Hollywood Outdoors here. Well, I'm at it again. This week I'm out here on Curtis Park Lake, a little local pond about probably 20 minutes from my house. Um, got about three hours, which seems to be the norm lately. I need to get out and get a full day's fishing here one of these days, but anyway, I got three hours out here. I hope you guys can see me. That sun's right there in the, in the back there. But uh, anyway, this lake is another tough lake to, to catch fish on sometimes. Uh, I just spoke to a couple guys that were just getting their boat out of the water. Um, they said they had some luck earlier in the day, but now they're finishing up. Now my philosophy was the opposite. I was thinking as the day warmed up, there'd be a little bit more action. So that's why I didn't come out here until about, uh, it's about noon right now. So uh, anyway, I've got about, like I said, a couple hours to try some stuff. I'm going to go ahead and fish along this dam here first, which is the deepest part of the, of the pond. Uh, I was over here hitting this uh, the flat here with nothing with a lip with a lipless and a spank and a spinner bait. No luck there. Um, but you know I'm gonna try my grub because that's what I had all my uh, luck on last week over there on the Aquaquan. So so we'll see what happens. So anyway, like I said before, Scott Highwood Outdoors, stand by, see if we can catch some fish. All right, guys. Like I said in the intro, um, I've already hit this flat over here. Not much luck. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this dam. I'm, I'm gonna start off with a spinner bait, maybe a. A, uh, a square bill. And if I don't get nothing on that pass, I might come back and probe it with a grub or with a shaky head or something like that a little deeper. Like I said before, this is the deepest part of the lake. Um, so this is where this should be. The water temperature is 51 degrees, so it's not that cold. It's a little green. There's a lot of uh, algae on the, on the surface. I don't know if the lake's already turned over or what the deal is, but I remember last December I was out here. It looked the same. And it was actually tough fishing. So stand by. We'll see what we can do. Another beautiful day out. Here we are, December 3rd. It's like 55, 56 degrees. <laughs> I mean, you can't ask for any better weather. I think later on, I think winter's finally supposed to come. We're, we're probably going to get be in the 30s and 20s and maybe even some snow by the end of the week. Um, but it's been an awesome fall weather-wise. Yep. Fish number one, baby. On the grub. That was barely. I didn't even feel that bite. I just felt a little bit of pressure. And there he was, right in the top of the hook, right where it was supposed to be. A cold fish, a small guy, but you know what? It's a fish nonetheless here on Curtis Park Lake. Awesome. Oh. Let him go. Let him go, guys. There we go. Alright. That's a good sign. 
All right, so let's see if we can recreate this again. It was in about 12 feet of water. And I'm using my fall favorite bait, a grub. So let's try for some more. <laughs> all, those year, all those years fishing the Texas rig, you know, being from Florida, I'm so used to that boom, 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 real, you know, violent hit. But since I've moved up here to Virginia and even before that when I was in Georgia, I, uh, you know, I, I didn't even know. I probably lost hundreds of fish just thinking I was just snagged on something and, and just didn't set the hook. So they always say, you know, hook sets are free. If you feel even to think you got a fish and you know it's not, you know, a, a, a twig or something like that, set the hook. Because probably eight out of ten times it's actually a fish. That's my tip for the day. Caught one. I'll come out and try a little bit more winter fishing and see if I can, oh, see if I can find something. If you, if I mean, winter fishing, you can catch a big one. Yeah. Just, you may only catch one, but you'll catch one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah buddy so. of mine works over there. He does a lot of fishing too. Well, since uh, I probably know. Are you shitting me? You know George Polachek. I met him out here one day. He put his, he put his boat in. George Polachek is my fishing partner. He's not. He's hey, my tournament you? partner. That's funny. What, what's your that. name? I'm Sean. Sean. Yes, sir. So there you go, guys. You never know who you're going to meet in the water. I just met a buddy of of um, George. You know, what you know, George is my fishing partner, Bass and Sale. It's a small world. So he actually, I was telling him about the... Uh, my my biggest fish that I caught was over in Smith Lake, and he says he actually seen that video. So, so just from that right there, I'm gonna get another subscriber. So you never know who you're gonna meet on the water. That's why it's good to talk to everybody. Um, just give you an update. I was actually out there on that dam over there. Didn't get another bite, which I'm quite surprised. I thought I was gonna be able to get two or three more off of that, but I didn't get nothing. Uh, so I'm just coming down through the bat pass by where these docks are, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the stump field with the spinner bait, uh, maybe a square bill, and then I'm gonna hit a couple points over there back with the grub again. Then pretty much call it a day so i've only got the one fish so far but you know what like i said get out in the water whenever you can if you need to catch one fish you didn't get a skunk so that, that's good but anyway i got about another hour so we'll see what happens keep watching I was here, I lost my rod in the same area. Hope I don't want, I, we don't want that to happen again. Well, that's it. That was the last cast. Ended up having to break off there. Don't have time to tie back on. What's up, guys? Got out outdoors. Heading back to the ramp here. Uh, only ended up catching that one fish. But hey, I was out on the water and I caught a fish. So to me, that's a good day. Uh, went ahead and met a, a, a good guy out here. His name is Sean. Um, he actually saw some of my videos from Smith Lake. So I think he's going to end up subscribing. So that's good. Sean, it was good meeting you if you're watching this video. Uh, it's funny to think that you met George, that you know George as well, which is my fishing partner at Bass and Sale. It's a small world we live in, but anyway, anyway thanks for stopping and talking to me on the water. It's always great to meet people that see my videos. Thanks again for that. Um, anyway, like I said, I'm heading back to the, to, the, to the dock now. As you can see, only problem with these uh, electric only lake, uh, lakes, it takes a little while to actually get there. I got the trolling motor pretty much on five, um, just making my way there. But um, a great day on the water. Uh, listen, I want to, want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing. I've been starting to get my subscriber count up. Uh, I want to keep doing that. Uh, my goal is to keep out here and keep fishing as many times as I can throughout the winter. Uh, I might do some other videos. Um, a lot of people wanted to see how I put my tackle together and all that stuff, so I might throw some videos like that as well out. Uh, so stay tuned. Keep watching. Uh, please hit that like, subscribe button, definitely. Anyway, 
again thanks for watching this is Scott Hollywood Outdoors and that's a wrap